Hey, welcome to the stream. Don't worry, Link didn't get struck by lightning and die last time. <laughs> ah, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. All right. Though, I do have a metallic shield on my back, so it very well could have happened. Okay, there we go. Okay, today I'm heading north. I'm going to the stable. Do I not save and quit when I'm done? Ah, uh, I save. I don't quit. I just put it into standby. Why? It shouldn't matter, should it? Cause yeah, I mean the the switch is just in the dock until the next time I have to play it. I'm weirded out by the lightning sounds. They uh they sound like explosions as opposed to lightning this time around. I'll walk along here. There might be a Korok or two. I got my Nintendo 64 back, and it's here. Just the one thing that I thought I had accounted for, but I guess I didn't. Or it's lost. It uses a, a mini HDMI cable. Which, I swear I had one, but I couldn't find it, so... I looked, I looked for a while. Couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna order another one, and I have. So I gotta wait another day before I can just, like, hook it up and test it. But it's behind me, at least. But it's looking pretty clean. It was a pretty cool kit. It came with uh, a 3D printed mount where the port was going to sit. Because usually you have to cut that out or get one 3D printed yourself. But it came with it, which was nice. I haven't been playing this in case it wasn't obvious. <laughs> so I just took the night off yesterday and kind of just chilled. Plus it means people might get ahead of me now and it's just less spoilery. Well, I suppose if I'm headed in the direction that no one's gone in yet. This is interesting. Wait, wrong thing. There we go. I wonder if it matters. Let me try this. I haven't played in a couple days as well, huh? I'm still not 100% sure what this is pointing out to. It looks like it's all caves. Just find, find it weird that it's on the castle, but anyway. Okay, I see that. Where? 
how to ah down. Have all the Koroks been found? I mean, probably. It's almost been a week, and last time it, it took less than a week, so. Especially if, if they do, like, a... Uh, you know, like a team up on Reddit or something. They work pretty damn quickly. But I haven't been looking into any of that. I don't even know how many there are this time around. I think it's safe to assume that there's at least 900. I doubt they would have cut the number down. Okay. Ah, oh, that's another throwing one. All the armor from the DLC is in this game. The armor from the DLC? What armor was DLC exclusive? Or do you mean the amiibo? What armor was from the DLC? I don't remember. Well, the Korok mask was DLC, yeah, but like... Oh, all of the EX stuff, right. But I, I guess I counted that as cosmetic. I guess, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Well, I mean, I'm... Heading... Not necessarily to the forest, but... Maybe I should consider heading there, just in case. <laughs> throwing, throwing fruit at them. Do they really want this to be a thing? Just people throwing stuff in combat? More than anything else? Oh, that's not fair. I want that. Okay, it's, it's reachable. As long as that's reachable, I don't care about the rest. Did the exact same thing. What, like, did the the core get stuck? Oh, there's ladders on the other side. Uh, ah, the listen, it's out of sight, out of mind. You know. <laughs> it's fine. But they accounted for it at least. Pretty funny. Imagine how revolutionary this game would have been for Nintendo had they not previously released Breath of the Wild. I think they probably could have gotten away with it if they had a bunch of... Like, let's... I guess it's, it's kind of hard to say, because... What would they have released instead of Breath of the Wild? Because we're talking about a time span of, uh... You know, big 3D Zelda game. The, the previous one to Breath of the Wild was Skyward Sword, wasn't it? So... I mean, we're talking a like a decade without a big one. 
Almost. More than a decade, because... Yeah, crazy to think Breath of the Wild released six years ago. And then... Skyward Sword? What year was Skyward Sword? I don't even remember. It was during the Wii era. A Link Between Worlds. I guess they would have had to have made one of the 3DS titles a Wii U title. And then they would have had to have done another title for the Switch, but there's nothing else that... What would they have done for the Switch? Because the reason it was excusable for the Wii U, I guess, was because there was news of it and it was announced and it just got delayed, but... You would have to have two games. It doesn't necessarily have to be strictly 3D, but then it's kind of a case where... Maybe the remakes would have been put on... On the Wii U. Because they were, you know, they did Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, so maybe to keep people tied over, they would have given the same treatment to, I, I don't know. That's the thing, they, they don't really have it. The Wii U only got its own Zelda at the very end of its life. Right, but that was Breath of the Wild, wasn't it? Like, a, we're talking about a new a new Zelda game. So, I guess that's the thing, is like, if, let's say Breath of the Wild was never released, it would have had to have been A Link Between Worlds. If we're talking about, you know, the newest Zelda games coming out, it would have been A Link Between Worlds. But then, what would have the Switch gotten? Because the one after A Link Between Worlds is, uh, is, uh, the one that I'm not exactly fond of. <laughs> Triforce Heroes, so... Yeah. It's an interesting thought experiment. They probably would have pushed forward the Link's Awakening remake. They would have done just a bunch of remakes and say, we're working on the biggest Zelda game ever. Just have to hold out, but in the meantime, here are some remakes. That's probably what they would have had to have done. You wouldn't be mad. Not you personally, but I think the fan base. Man. I mean, I'm just reminded of what happened... Ooh, that looks ominous. What happened to, uh... To Wind Waker. Which was people were, were not happy with the art style of that game initially just because Nintendo had shown a demo with a Link that was more realistic looking. Not Twilight Princess Link that was really detailed, but at the very least was uh, wasn't a cartoon and people were genuinely not happy. Oh, oh, what? what is this floppy ladder? Flas flaccid ladder, yeah. I'm not, I'm not... I'm not judging. Listen, some ladders are showers and some are growers. Ladder's just a little shy. How do I even get this to work? It's totally safe. You can climb that, my friend. Nothing but the finest construction in this ladder. There we go. Oh my gosh, already. I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. It's my own darn fault. I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. 
Ah. I even had a ladder. But yeah, it broke when I tried to climb up. Ah! Huh? Wait, it's fixed. Did you do that? You're incredible. Now, let's get out of here already. <laughs> Man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life. Seriously. I really owe you to take this. Oh. Ah. Okay, yeah, we're going to Foothill. I just, because this one's here, I'm kind of surprised that this one's here again. Uh. These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? What's a bubble frog? <gasps> well, don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it, eh? Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Oh. Aha, I knew it. They must have asked you to. Supposedly there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd stuff. Ah. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden. Curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for something for the bubble... They're looking for something the bubble frogs dropped. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you ah. to? They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful appealing, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go in here since it's here. I mean, this is an enemy base, so let's be ready. <laughs> you slaughtered 19 of them. What am I up to? Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, definitely in the double digits. I can't remember how many. I have 16, okay. Not too far off. About to have 17. Oh goody. Right, I got a line on bro. I'm sorry, Chulin is like MVP. Excuse me, did that Horoblin have a mushroom stick? Was was I attacked by a mushroom stick? Bouncy stick. What? Hey Colorin, how's it going? And the fish stick. Do you like fish sticks, Chulin? I like them too. They're great. What, you were expecting me to do the South Park line? <laughs> Come on, that joke is like, it's over a decade old. It was his dinner. That makes sense. Uh... Let's get this. Ah! Drop. Oh. How's the day off? It was just good. Just kind of kicked back in the evening. I'm not gonna lie, I was just watching One Piece. That's it. 
because I hadn't watched in a while, so. I mean, what else does one do on a Tuesday? I didn't feel like being productive. I just... Kind of kicked back. That's it. Where is... I don't have a hammer. I don't want to make a hammer out of one of these. That's fine. Wait a minute. Is this... This is a soldier's spear spear, so it's a double spear. Okay, and then I need to... Huh. I'm the arsehole here. Mm, that was good. It's sometimes... I think it's very underrated. Just, uh... The power of doing nothing. The only complaint I have about these beams of light that mark caves is I, I kind of wish once... These are way more common now. Three shots, that's all I need to do. These are way more common than they used to be. Um, yeah, the only complaint I have is just... It's still shows it, even though you've cleared the cave. Is... Is this still a thing? Hang on. Oh, is that a raft? I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but I haven't got a single minute to spare right now. But the stable is open, so you can ask the counter if you need anything. What are you looking at? Okay. Oh, you're here. Ah. Hey, partner, get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have time to squawk right now. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this odd story has another twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times, so I got to thinking only weapons decay during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need of tools for... Wait, Pen. Hold just Hold. Hold on. You've got in ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who. Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Isra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft, I've heard. Let's get to work, partner. Oh, this is interesting. Have the re I guess the recipes may have changed this time around. Okay, hold on. Hey! Hey there, are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's me, Beetle. If you forget, my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. Wow. In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go, forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. 
I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else in your life journey, I can sell you that too. Short on rupees? Don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down. <laughs> and what, what, what better way to lighten up than sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Same lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, Messiah, how are you? Okay, it's fine. All right. Well, let's talk after. Uh, where's? the shrine somewhere behind here. Oh, it's another well. Okay, hold on. Oh. Well, good morning, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Word to the wise, even though it's daytime, I'd stay away from the forest near here, are you? We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest, I mean, forest, forest stress, I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's B-A-D bad news, and I brought some it brought some other monsters with it. And look. Oh. I worked so hard to build a well, and now we can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... What if that monster, mon monster, monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep, I can barely talk. Oh. I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If I could at least get that big one to leave... Well, keep wishing, but for now, you really should steer clear of the forest. They say it's hard for monsters to pick up your scent in the rain, but I say danger is danger in any weather. Okay. So do I just have to appear... Okay, hold on, I got an axe. There we go. I do find it nice that the supply of arrows is pretty steady. doesn't work. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Lazalfos. Are they referring to the the Moblin? <laughs> Look at them eat the meat. Uh, Alphas. Oh, I'm not getting rid of anything, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Gotta use the big boy weapons here. Have I found a good source to get money? Um, the Talus is... All that I've found that is at least decent. I found a spot where one is on its own, so... Other than that, um, I could do the minigame. The flight one. Cause that earns a little bit of money. Pretty reliably. Ah. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Thank <laughs> you. 
but uh, this weekend should be good. I'll probably be able to get more time in with this than I did last weekend. It's just the whole Mother's Day thing. <laughs> And I do want to try playing a retro game or two. It's only Wednesday. For me, it's like just the past few days have flown, so. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if by this weekend a lot of people have finished the game. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster. I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees, putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty monster. Amazing. Thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything. But I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so I'll give you two pony points. Okay, now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. Sure someone's beat already. Probably. I mean, we're talking about if uh, maybe someone's already found all the Koroks, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone's already found all of them. With Breath of the Wild, it, it took three days, and someone found them all. Yeah, it was it was quick. It was pretty ridiculously quick. They probably did nothing else. They just went and just looked for the Koroks. I'm not sure how how invested I'm gonna be on in them. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I already found 900 of them. No reason to rush. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, I just took a breather last night. Just to kick back and chill. Plus, now people will probably be ahead of me, and this is less spoilery. Because I've, I've been playing nothing but Zelda games and just constantly playing Zelda games for like the last two months. Not a complaint or anything, but it's just... Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Right, but like... Oops. Keep rewinding. Wait, is that too high still? Hang on. Okay. <clears throat> I can still do this. I mean, it was... It's a lot of fun. Just, I think, not having the time pressure. Because I, I was trying to make sure everything got done on time. Particularly Breath of the Wild, man. It's 
Got it. What purpose is this going to serve? Bonus chest? Ow. Oh. What? I just bypassed the whole puzzle. I thought this was just going to be for a bonus chest. I was like, yeah, let, let me just get this for... Okay, sure. Um, Alright. I guess. Yeah, so th th that's... Uh, yep, totally solved that one. Because it, 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 just, it doesn't seem that difficult to get the ball up there. That's why I thought, oh, yeah, this is this is just a chest. But I want the chest. I've been checking out the chest since they're more meaningful this time around. So I'll, I'll look at the chest. Did not realize that was the whole uh, puzzle. I mean, you gotta love it. There's just... Imagine you're the person who designed this particular puzzle. You spent a month designing it. It's just, it's intricacy and, you know, oh yeah, I'll make them use a car and go over lava, and then they'll have all these other puzzles that they have to solve to get to the end, and then they get the blessing. Only to have me, an arsehole, just jump straight to the end. Wasn't intentional. I bypass a lot of them. Yeah, I mean. Not as much, it's just, it's sometimes just a section. Ones where I'm like, okay, I understand what I need to do here. It's not that I need to solve anything. Like, I know what, what, I, what the game wants me to do. Listen, if, if you thought this was bad, if you thought this was bad, I enjoyed the playthrough of a game called Crayon Physics, but apparently a lot of people hated it. <laughs> because, so, it's a game where you have to draw lines, and then, it, you know, there's a ball, and you, you guide the ball to the goal, more or less, and it's, you, it's kind of nice. It's like you're drawing on a sheet of paper, and it's with crayons. But after about, I'd say, 20 minutes of doing stuff properly, I just tried to break the game on purpose for the rest of the, the playthrough. And it was one of those things that I found hysterical. Some people just hated it. <laughs> just because the stuff that I got to work and just bypassed the whole puzzle. Uh, anyway, that's our stables raft. Please stop doing whatever. It is that you're doing, really? You don't want me to make it better? You saw the princess. I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I didn't want this to get out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. That was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Flora Sandbar. It's around the river bend and then a good distance after that. 
I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff that fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Ah. <sighs> I know we could clear this mess up if someone could take me down river. Oh, so now, now I can modify it? Ah. I can take you. Ah. Hey, sir. Thanks for the 36 months. Uh, brief visit to say hello. <laughs> That's fair enough. What? You mean that fella? You'll take me to Florit Sandbar? Thanks. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Right, so now I'm allowed to do this. I guess I need a permission, huh? Do you ever see that episode of The Simpsons where Homer tries to, tries to put together the uh, the jungle gym and then it just doesn't look like the picture? That's what I feel like right now. I mean, I, I've got IKEA furniture in the room here that I've built myself, not to brag. So, whilst I'm not the greatest of uh, handymen, if I need to assemble something from IKEA, I can do it. The amount of times you've made a mess of building is insane. I forgot a battery. There was a battery there? Oh, well. Um. I can do that. It's fine. Better than you. You hand the tools, can't put things together. Yeah. I mean, I'm not bad with, um... Like... I've... For example, swapped the shells on one of my Joy-Con sets, and that is pretty finicky. It's like, I've cracked open my consoles and have done things to maintain them, so... Woohoo, we made it. Oh. Did a great job getting us there. Where'd you learn how to handle a rough like that? I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Uh. Huh? Up in the sky, there's something, uh, someone coming at us. This standing desk where all my stuff is right, right now. Uh, yeah. I admit, I, I, I assembled it. We have finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right on down to help, but uh, where are we? Uh. Hey! What do you think you're doing just 
barging in here. This place is for flowers and plants. All of them precious. Oh, this... This again. You better watch out. You'll rule the day you trample on any of them. Whoa, who's this? Have I met her before, partner? Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise that we won't pick any flowers. Picking them? I'd be more worried about you kicking them. Okay, you do realize that you are standing on your beloved flowers, right, lady? Like, look at where you're standing right now. You are standing on them. Wait a minute. Farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's planks plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here. But the princess, well, they say she went missing. And all our hard work was ruined when, oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to try make it all nice again. Uh... Really, that's what happened. Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools back. Oh. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me, if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Hmm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds just like our princess to find the time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip. Don't overwork the soil. And also, nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? You said you'll help. I accept your offer. What? I didn't say that. Well, close enough. So... What if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil? Like you said, I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Ah. <sighs> Can't talk my way out of this one. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way. I'll help. Oh. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted and got those two. Worked it all out, I guess. I can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. There'll be a real headline. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well. To get such results your first time out, why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to the old nest egg. Yuck. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase, and there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. Oh. Soar along. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you're working on one of those president signs and it looked like a mess. Your husband took over and made it look nicer. Yeah, but they don't give you bonus points for making it look nicer. It just needs to be functional. You know? I mean, where, where was that abomination? Like, I point you to, to this right here. Now... I'm not going to win points for style, or maybe I will, because I think it's a modern work of art, but this was functional, it worked, and the president stood up on his own. Now, I could have made that work in a completely different manner that looked like a structure of some sort, but you don't get anything for doing that. Like, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that you have someone to go to to straighten out something that might be a mess, right? That's great. But it's, it's not like... 
you know, there's a sort of grade system where the dude's like, oh wow, A plus. Here, let me give you this reward. At the end of the day, you could stick yours together, spend 15 seconds on it, take a nap, and then someone else could spend 20 minutes on it. But at the end of the day, you both get the same mark. Oh, that's interesting. I think it would drive people insane if they had to... If they had to make it look nice on top of it. This one's interesting because I have to... I don't think I can ride it up. Let's see. This might be a mess. Yeah, it kind of, kind of is a mess. Okay, careful. Got it. No! Thought I had it. Stop! Okay, wait for a... Uh... No. Got it. I like this design. It looks cool. Since it kind of glows in the dark. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> really? Really? What is this? It's a spring? I might die here. <laughs> I might die here. This is not cool. <laughs> I need to get out of this pit of death. I need to... Okay, if, if I move this to the edge, put it here, I'm less likely to get struck by lightning. I need to get out. I need to get out. Oh, fuck. Is that what you're supposed to do with those rocks? Yeah. Just send them back up and ride them to the sky. How does this work? Oh my god. <laughs> this can only happen to me. There's no ceiling here, what the fuck? It's because I've never used one of these before. I can't climb, <laughs> this is raining. I can warp out, but I, I, I want to do the thing outside. Oh my god. How do these things work? Oh, I see. Got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I figured it out as you said it.
I can't believe that just happened. Just, I landed in a spot with this chest that's just repeatedly getting struck by lightning. In a space small enough to hit me every time. A bouncy device. Yeah, me and electricity do not mix, that's for sure. Oh. This is fun. I was worried it was gonna. Wait, what? It didn't work. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I get what it wants me to do. Can I can I be a vandal here? So why can't why can't I hit this? Whilst it's in the air? That's a, that's the part that I don't understand. Oh no, it does work. No, I th okay, it does, it does work. That's all. That's all I need. That's all I need. All right. Okay. So. This is gonna take a few steps. It's probably too small, let's see. Nope, it works. Okay, up you go. It's not carrying it as high as I wanted it to. fine. Okay. Now... Rewind. Should be high enough, hopefully. But this one's, I'm curious if this works. Shit. Okay, it's okay. But I keep climbing. Hmm, this might not work now. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, Link. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, sure, I wanted to get across here. Just in a really creative way. That's fine. But 
But see, with these now, I can climb it. I have my two platform system. It's just, I, I wanted to see how the Octorok thing worked out. I think these are too heavy. Too far away. Huck. How's this not? What is going on here? <laughs> oh my god. That <laughs> took forever to get in there. Okay. That was kind of amusing to watch from a distance. Okay. So let me... That didn't, that didn't really work, but okay. Now we... Rewind time. Wait, you can't climb while it's in rewind time? Okay, so... Whoops. <laughs> I didn't think I could land on it. This is not high enough. I feel like I'm overcomplicating this a little too much. I'm overcomplicating this. So I'm gonna overcomplicate it even more. That's what I do.
<laughs> this is not the intended way, but I don't care. It's okay. It's just hopefully be enough to get me up. What the? Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Totally solve the intended way. <sighs> Man, I don't know about anyone else, but it seems that lately 90% of the things that I receive on my phone or through email are just phishing scams. Like, just everything is a scam. It's just insane. Phone calls, it's like, I would say, 99%. It just it doesn't, it's not worth picking up the phone. Like, it's just exploded in terms of how much of that shit I see on a daily basis. Well, I just then got one. It's just, oh, you have an undelivered package. Oh, really? Seems legit. Okay. A little bit of a sidetrack, but it just makes it easier to move around the map. Um, okay, I'm going here. And then we'll head north. It's actually an enemy type. It's a battle talus. It says classified as its own enemy type. <laughs> Where's your friend? Down there, huh? Okay. Wrong tool. Yeah. I, I see it, I see it.
<laughs> Bridge John. Yes. The return Bridge John makes a return. So hard to control when the object is this this size. It's it's kind of, it's spinning on its own. But I'm not I'm not spinning. It has a mind of its own. Work. I think dragging it along the ground is probably the best call. There we go. No, but it's still... Why Why does it have this force? It, have, it has this weird force, like it's getting pulled in a certain direction. Stop! Okay. Okay. That's what I want. Now... still work. I, I do appreciate that in the time I'm taking to do this, I probably could have walked the Korok over. I do, I do appreciate that. rotation okay. well this is not gonna end well for me I'm gonna have to drop it Okay. What the heck am I doing? I'm quite clearly helping the Korok go home. Quite clearly.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> it's fine. Look. And then... See? He made it to the shoreline. Everything's fine. Completely intentional. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. <laughs> no, I mean, it just it would have taken too long to use the bridge. You ever been in the middle of traffic and the queue is just bumper to bumper, you're backed. So, you know. Instead of sticking to the lane that they want you to go through, you keep changing lanes like an asshole. But obviously, you have to do that because otherwise you're not going to get to your destination quick. So, this bridge is the banked up lane that I just need to uh, get out of as soon as possible. I just went up the emergency lane, and look, the Korok is safe. It has to be a dive animation now. No, the plane was necessary. It's like if you ever need to go on the carpool lane, you just put a mannequin in the passenger seat. So I just needed to make it, uh, make it seem like, yes, we need to take to the air. So no questions got asked. To be honest, these things already give you enough money. Oh. It led me to a cave. Huh. Oh, it's a talus. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I think there's just a regular one, right? Or is it... No, it's a luminous one. Those things gave you all when you broke them. What the heck was up with me then? This would be a classic fight. That's interesting. It doesn't seem to suffer the same problem that the original ones did. Where you could... Ow! Where you could just, uh... Okay, hold on. Sir? 
Oh, they've, yeah, they've changed this. You can't keep chain stunning them. I mean, fair enough. Like, it did make him a pushover. They're more threatening now. Ooh, I got a diamond this time. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah, look at that blade. That's like, if I need to take something down with a sneak strike, oh boy, that thing is gonna... gonna hit like a truck. I don't think I need to restart my game. I think it's fine. Maybe I'm just that unlucky. Like, okay. See? It's fine. It's just RNG is a bitch. <laughs> That's it. What did I put on the weapons to make it stronger? The Hinox Heart. I mean, not the Hinox Heart, the Talus Heart, my bad. But the one that I had was a, a Hinox Horn or something. That's why it's worth fighting these things. It's just, they will give you a pretty insane thing to connect to it. Anyway, uh, it's just this one here. Look at all that flint. I got the champion's tunic yet. Nah. I haven't played since last time, so. This is good, though. This is. Get more damage. Thought that was gonna be something special. Okay, out we go. Surely there's a spot I can use this in. There we go. Wait, where is here? Oh. I was confused for a sec. I gotta get rid of the lizard bow. There's just so much to do. <laughs> ah, right, the rain. Hmm. 
This looks like it's just a base and nothing else. Okay, I don't know what this is. I can't believe how easy these ones were. I thought there was something more elaborate. The novelty of outfits is new to me because I didn't wear them, you know? It's kind of crazy to think that there's just this whole aspect of Breath of the Wild that I just never did. Because of the way I decided to play that game. So, I, I mean, it's a positive because I get to experience it here, so it's fresh. burning. Oh, it's just grass. Okay, I haven't done that one over there. Whoa, that, that weapon's worthwhile. You messed up. matrix thing. I just, I want, I really wanted that weapon. This shield looks cool. What shield is this on? It's just a standard, yeah, okay. It's a standard Boko shield. Apparently not allowed to grab here. Yep. I was gonna say, even if this treasure chest is bad, it doesn't matter. The weapon I got, uh, definitely worthwhile. Yeah. This shit looks ridiculous. I mean, this is very barbarian like. The 
But do you know what kind of concerns me about this design? So, like, it almost looks like someone got their hand. I mean, the way these paints are done, it's done with hands, right? So someone, like, got three fingers and kind of went down Link's belly button slash crotch area. <laughs> I just look at this and I'm like, hmm. That, yeah. 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 Okay. Because it couldn't have been him, like, to get it to go like that, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a bit awkward. Someone had to have done that for him. Can you attach a tree to a weapon? What do you mean a tree to a weapon? A tree to a weapon. Like, a, I think it just becomes this log backtrack. Sepapa. It's much like, you know, how you get a boulder and then it becomes a smaller boulder when it's on the weapon. If you've ever tried that, it, I think it's conceptually the same thing. Cool shield, I like it. Even though the treasure chest that was there was bad, the shield and the spike ball was great. That's why I went for it. Just how they've made fighting enemies and treasures more meaningful, it's great. I feel like I want to actively search out stuff. Honestly, one of the largest complaints of Breath of the Wild is just... It didn't feel worth it to do enemy camps, it just didn't feel worth it to... ...look at treasures and dungeons, just none of that stuff was just worth it at all. Um... I'll put this down, because I've already used it a little bit for now. Of Bulwark of Asthma from WoW. I haven't played WoW. But let me have a look. Oh, I'm standing I'm standing in the fire. Uh oh, I have to load. My shield broke. I'm not I'm not about to have that shield break. It burnt. Well, so I was standing in the fire. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it. That's kind of annoying that it does that, but anyway, it's fine, I'll load it. This, it's not that much of a puzzle to do this one. It's pretty quick. To... We gotta keep that. Oh yeah, because it's a Boko shield, that's why. Even though the, the end of it is spiky, and I guess made out of stone. Because it's a Bokoblin shield, it's just gonna burn up. But it's still, it's a cool looking shield. Oh, I nearly missed it. So I'm not waiting again. Oh.
Guess the autosave when I got the chest, huh? Remember that time I soft locked myself because of a torch? <laughs> I hope I don't have to have something like that happen again. This seems simplistic. I think I got it. Let it rest in here for a little bit. Okay, and now let it rest in here for a little bit. I like this. This is cool, though. Yeah, this is a cool one. These ones definitely feel more like puzzles. I can get uh, two more heart containers, so that's good. Because I think stamina's fine. I mean, I did I did a lot with less <laughs> in Breath of the Wild. Kind of living a life of luxury with the second stamina oil. Imagine needing more than one stamina wheel. So we follow the general rule that at every bridge there's a Korok. So where is this one? That was the case in Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's no woodland tower this time. It's now more of an Elden tower. Trying to get that treasure chest. Uh, uh, I've almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming, and hmm. Oh. You got this, Dak. That treasure is as good as oh these two, as ours. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec, Prison. 
Hey, hey. You. We're having a private conversation here. Uh? Huh? What are you? How long have you been there? Ha! Huh. We found that chest first. It's ours. I mean, it's in a bottomless bog of a certain doom with no place to put your feet, so you probably can't get to it anyway. But any hidden treasure that's maybe certainly definitely in there is ours. Ah? Uh? Prison, cut it out. Oh. Sorry, Doc. Just slipped out. Uh. Yeesh. I need to think about how to get that treasure, so you do your job and keep watch, got it? As you can see, we're working, so buzz off. Oh, you're working, are you? Oh, you're working, are you? <laughs> Murder them. There is, there is a way. Okay. There is a way I might be able to murder them. I'm going to summon pay to win directly on top of them. Oh, you can't. It doesn't let you. Okay, this is the cl- ah, Okay, let's- There. <laughs> okay, it didn't really work. They didn't fall from the sky, they kind of just appeared. I don't want a shield. It's a terrible reward. Alright, auto saves. Mind you! Mind you! <laughs> I could have used the barrels to form the makeshift structure to get across. I could have used the barrels. It's okay. There's stuff behind me. Dude, it doesn't have to be gigantic. I mean, honestly, if you saw someone turn up and just form a bridge like this, you wouldn't mess with them. You'd be like, yeah, no, that treasure's theirs. If they can do, do this. That's it. Easy. Just pull it out. Oh, just bomb flowers. Uh. Almost got it. Maybe we can get that treasure chest. Hey, Prison, where'd the treasure go? Ah. The treasure? Oh, that guy took it. Uh? What? You weren't keeping watch? Huh. I was keeping watch. That guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch means you have to do more than just watch. <sighs> ah, well, can't get them all. No use in crying about it. You know, you're pretty good. Almost as good as us at treasure hunting. Uh -huh. Huh? You're a treasure hunter too? Are you also going after Miss Ghost Tretch? Uh -huh. Preston, hush! Ah, uh, sorry, just ignore him. Miss Ghost Treasure. Ah, so much for the just ignore him gambit. There's no way you're also a treasure hunter. If you don't know about Misko's treasure, so we can tell you a little. Misko was one of the greatest bandits Hyrule ever saw, and not just a bandit. They were also a fashionista. Rumor has it Misko's renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Oh. We think the clothes are hidden in the caves appear that appeared during the upheaval, like up ahead in the Elden region. You couldn't really explore back when Death Mountain was erupting. Now everything's cooled down and the place is all rocky and rugged. There are probably tons of secret caves, perfect for hiding treasure. <laughs> Preston, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, oops. Definitely forget he said anything. I've been, I've been finding some of this clothing. I love how they mention a cave and then there's just literally one over there. Okay. 
going in. Oh. That's prob that's uh that's a little problematic. Man, they really like to give you as many bright blooms as you can get. That's it, though. There's nothing else in here. that they are uh, they don't do anything those things <laughs> give me the minerals I mean, I haven't really done much with shields at all. I'm still using them in more or less the same standard way. I do that. <laughs> Grabbed onto that. Okay, there's the bubbling. Just for good measure now. <laughs> These things are entertaining. That would have been something, that for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not really worth. Uh, anything else? Doesn't look like it.
Just making sure. Got it. Now that's it. I think we can leave. I'm not sure where this is going to pop up. Okay. Surprise! <laughs> oh, I guess this is the fairy fountain. What a place to relocate to. I know what you are, you monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. I've heard this line is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. Oh, I'll never hear a musical troupe pass by again. And the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity until I hear... A violin in the world once more. I came here close to a stable where I could offer my blessings to travelers, but now until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troupe, I can't bear the thought of ever coming out outside again. Yeah, we need to resolve this. high up. Okay. I'm sure I'll figure it out. If there's building supplies nearby, well, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Rise and fall. I'm straightforward enough. I'll get the chest. Crap. Hurry, 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 hurry. does take a while for it to go up. Oh. <laughs> Not excited about that. Oh well. Oh. That's fine, that's fine. Thought it was stuck for a sec. There was already another block there. Well, I mean, with that alone, I could make it up. But I'm doing this as intended.
Hopefully there's a, that musician the fairy was talking about here. How? Oh, what the? Why didn't that fall before? Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, if nothing else, it will be to help the Koroks. Oh, it's you. Okay, I'm gonna mark it on this, on here. I hope he's okay. You there, traveler? Do you? have business in this cave by any chance i'm sorry to say but right now it's big brother oh it's no use colton please it's impossible absurd even to try and turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like the- Okay. <laughs> I'll never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a booble gem. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Ah, but I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall, or to run about all nimbly bimbly like that. Nimbly bimbly? In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes, do you remember all the treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. Just so happened to have some. Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? I'm going to make my dream come true. I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Ah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is nimbly bimbly? Is this just... Nimbly bimbly just sounds like a phrase Americans would come up with to seem British. Like, that's how British people talk. Ah, oh, nimbly. Give him the old nimbly bimbly. You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori, you know, the creature of myth. Satori are creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish-white fur. Oh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. You've never said that? Not specifically, but I have heard some Americans talk to British people and just say stuff like that. 
Kind of like how with Australians they default to kangaroo and emus. To say, oh, you know, losing the war against emus or kangaroos. Highly original stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find the Bubble Frog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bauble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem, but who knew a bubble frog could gamble about like that? So nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Ugh, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such things. If you get a hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a trip. I've been talking to this dude for like two minutes already. Just here. No, that's a bubble gem! Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape, that faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it. Now I can transform into a Satori, just like the ones I adore. Thank you very much. Please take this gifty in return. Oh, uh. See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a bokoblin, so much so that even a bokoblin would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and heart of a bokoblin. At last, at last, the time has come to gobble down the bubble gem. Cheers and bottoms up. Ugh, my body isn't changing, but I do feel a strange s sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more! I need more of them. I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots of them and eat them all at once. And to do that... Kilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems like you made your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. Hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasures for it. And with that, hope to see you again sometime, somewhere. Oh, you had a neighbor who had emus. Emus? They got out one day... And saw it on the street like a dinosaur. It ran away and jumped into a canal and died. That's morbid. Wait, emu or ostrich? I thought the Americas had ostriches. I didn't know they had emus as well. Hmm. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making my journey to Tarrytown in Akala. But dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother out. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Tarrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. Can't I just talk to them here? <laughs> and I have another 18 of them. Another 18 of them. Dude just ran off. Would have gotten 18 of them right away, but whatever. Oh, how to exotic animals. Okay, I guess that makes sense. No, I mean, the whole thing with Australians and Emus was... After, I think it was World War I, um, the government gave a bunch of soldiers that came back from the war some land. and So this land was near uh, wildlife, pretty much. And so apparently emus were wrecking their land that they wanted to make into farmland. So they asked the government for help, and the government deployed the military to help them. And uh, because of the harsh conditions, not the emus, because of the harsh conditions, they kind of failed. So the meme is, you know, um, Australians lost the war against emus. Because... Uh, because it was such a disaster at the time, that's what the newspapers of the day labelled it. They called it the Emu War. But it wasn't literally a war. 
I mean, it is funny to hear. But Australia hasn't exactly had good luck with animals. Like, we have uh, some of the world's purest bred camels. And that was because we purchased a bunch of them from the Middle East. And then um, they were used for travel in harsh conditions. But, you know, as cars got better, there wasn't a need for them. So they had all these uh, camels and they were like, what do we do with them? And uh, since no one would take them, they're like, all right, just set them free in the desert. They probably won't survive. So not only did they survive, but they kind of flourished. And now it's funny because we sell them to other countries because they're really, really purebred. And you, it's hard to get purebred camels, apparently. So we have this massive camel um, export. So yeah, not luck with emus, not luck with, uh, camels. Just, Australia, when it comes to killing wildlife, does not have a good track record. We got kangaroos. Yeah, you don't mess with kangaroos. No matter how much cartoons want you to, like, fight a kangaroo or... Ride on. You don't mess with them. They look like lazy fuckers, but if they get aggressive on you, man, yeah. That's scary shit. Ah, this is quite the outfit you've put together. Although perhaps it could be a little more uncoordinated. That is a complete set. Could really work for you. Sorry, my eye for fashion. Can't help but see what it sees. I'm forever tempted by the latest style. The same is true for my boyfriend. The two of us are going to Goron City to buy their trendy fire-resistant clothes. But when we were about to arrive, we got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back down on my own. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. They look so cute. No, I mean... Okay, you've got the little ones, which are wallabies. They're, they're small and they're, they're adorable. And it's pretty safe. But the larger ones, it's just... Have you ever seen a photo of one flexing its muscles? It's just in insane. Just how bulky they are. And how much stopping power they have in their feet. And their claws are really, really sharp. So there's no musician here. Okay. Oh, no, here they are. Alright. Mind going through it all one more time, just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Well, we had our accident here one awful night, sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our hulls bolted away, off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of its wheels broke and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances or us. At least no one was hurt. Since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reasons the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And the one who caused all of this was a blonde-haired woman, you say. Hmm, could that have been? Oh, oh hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. Yeah, perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could this be the mystery woman? Could she be Pre Princess Zelda? 
Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we have to talk to the Great Fairy first. Great Fairy? Ha! <laughs> huh, asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. Oh. Look way up those hills. See the big plant in the distance? That's the one that's spouting that pretty stuff. That right there is a flower bud where the Great Fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. A great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. Oh. We mustn't forget that the great fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breeza is broken, and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Um, I didn't find the other one, but I assume it's a lady that gets you to follow her. It's just, I lost track of her. And then, just a bunch of stuff happened. So, I never went back. You know, I, I appreciate what it's trying to get me to do, but... Why does it have to be annoying? <laughs> Honestly. I can't be the only one having this much trouble attaching stuff. Okay, that looks pretty dead on to me. It's just the snapping, it's weird. Anyway, that's done. Alright. The only thing I couldn't figure out is how to get a horse to pull this carriage. No. Okay. Mm. I'll take you. I can't believe it. He's made some sort of change to Breeza. We may be able to go on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. Do I have a harness? I don't. I should talk. Uh -huh. Welcome, you found your way to Woodland Stable. Thanks for supporting the Stable Association. One pony point. Okay. Ooh. Looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step right up to the side counter. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Ooh. Wait, what? Mm. Melania bed? Or is it here? Ah, it's here. Hey. Receive reward. Oh. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. Your reward for three points is a harness. There you go. Okay. A harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. But there's more. For five points, you get the horse god fabric. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you ever find yourself in the clutter, you ought to stop by. Oh. Two more points, you'll be able to use the Melania bed. Right. Prophecies from the Horse God. Okay. Ooh. Take horse. Ooh. Oh. Mm. You can also equip your horse with... Oh. Ooh. Right. That's kind of annoying. It also took my save data from 
from uh, non-master mode. Which means there's gonna be a master mode of this. Just confirms it. It just confirms it. Because the saved art is separate, so... Love how it's, it's not a proper mechanism, it's just a piece of wood. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's point, that's a Korok sign. I need to come back here. Harness from Wish. You know, I've never really purchased anything from there, but I have heard that there's really dodgy stuff there. Oh my god, the horse is going off track. Why? <laughs> that wasn't me. That was. Stop! It's going a straight line. Where? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, st I still hate the horses in this game. I still hate them. They did, they'd made no improvements. They're still as cumbersome as they were in Breath of the Wild. Stop it! Why are you acting like I just caught you? Yeah, there's not gonna be a murder bike, unfortunately. I just can't believe that the horse is acting What's the point of save data from a previous game if the horse is going to act like I just caught it? Like, I may as well just go catch another horse. It'd be the same thing. They fix climbing in the rain? It's yes and no. Like, I feel like they've made climbing better, but then in some ways they've made it worse. Like, I, I, I definitely find myself slipping a lot more than I used to. It's just a classic Nintendo thing, is they fix one thing, but then break three things in the process. And then you have to wait for the next game for them to try and fix it again. We can take it from here. Alright, my- oh, Mastro, my bad. Lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the heart it can for the Great Fairy. Uh, game? There we go. No, it's spelt Mastro, but it's Maestro. It's Mastro. It's spelt Mastro. I thought the character's name was Maestro, but it's Mastro. Yahoo! See? Behold, Violin, the great fairy graces us with her presence. Ooh. Truly divine. Well, look at this. You really helped out, partner. I flew as fast as I could when I saw the bud opening up. 
So this is a great fairy. Mm -hmm. Ah, I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all as Princess Zelda described to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading all over the land and that the world would soon be lost to its monsters. I hid myself away. Mm -hmm. But now that I look back on it, Princess Zelda was speaking to me. I feel like something wasn't right. In the deep dark of the night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. She looked like Princess Zelda, but maybe it wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our report work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take a wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on out of this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, also there's this. It's from Tracy. Eh. Yeah. So, Hatina Village Dye Shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm basically going to give you an extra job by handing over this fabric, but still. The point is, by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'm going to take the story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every word. So long! Mm. Maestro, I thought... Mastro, sorry. I thought the rest of our musicians left the trip because they didn't like how I played the violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. While you move the heart of the great fairy herself, your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess. I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies also hiding away in their buds. I bet, I mean, if you, we play music for them, they'd cheer them up too. Brilliant idea. You know what that calls for? Reuniting our troop. The Stable Trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two now, but just you wait. I know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's decided, let's get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other great fairies and bring them out of hiding. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in a sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across the land, you know. Oh. You'll find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was to come out of hiding. Oh, highlights them. That's cool. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical trip, I feel much better. May I ask you to find the other buds? Can you talk to my sisters? And um, while you're here, how about I hand your clothing for you? Not yet. I'll talk to her in a minute, but I want to take a small intermission for now, since it's been two and a half hours. This is where I say, bye YouTube, thanks for watching if you're watching later. Uh... For those watching live now, I just want to stretch my legs and make a drink. So, yeah, give me two to five minutes and we'll return. But, as always, YouTube, thanks for watching and consider clicking those fancy algorithm buttons if you want to support. But we'll see you next time.